Hey there and welcome. I'm Ganesh from learnenglishlab.com and today we're going to learn 10 idioms based on the hand. Okay. Now all of these are really popular idioms. You may have heard most of them uh, and you should definitely try to use some of them. Okay. So let's get started. The first one is probably the most popular idiom with the word hand in it and that is give me a hand. Uh, this is a way of asking for help. So if someone says to you, hey, can you give me a hand? That means they're asking you for help. Now, usually this is used uh, to ask for help with physical labor. Like if I'm trying to move something that's really heavy, or I'm trying to uh, lift a box and I can't lift it. I might say, hey, can you give me a hand? Meaning, can you help me? with lifting this box okay all right number two is have one's hands full i've written ones over here because this is how you'll usually see it in dictionaries and this means that it can be anybody it can be to have my hands full or you have your hands full or his or her it can be anything this means that you're really busy so if i say uh she's she has her hands full with two jobs. That means she has two jobs and she's very busy. She has her hands full with two jobs. Imagine if I had lots of things in my hands. I would be very busy. I wouldn't be able to do anything else. So this means that a person cannot do anything else because they're very busy. Okay. Number three is to wash one's hands of something. S-T-H means something. Okay. Uh, it can be something or it can actually be somebody as well. Now if you wash your hands off something or somebody, that means you end your involvement with that thing or with that person. Now, for example, I used to have a motorbike. It was a great bike. Um, it was great for about two years. But then it started to give me a lot of problems. I had to do repairs on the motorbike all the time. I got fed up. I sold that bike for really cheap just to wash my hands of the bike. What does that mean? That means I just wanted to get rid of the motorbike. So I sold it for really cheap. So I washed my hands of the, the motorbike. Number four is to try one's hand, uh, hand at something. This means to try something for the first time. Uh, I'd like to try my hand at karate, you know, martial arts, learning to fight and defend yourself. I'd like to try my hand at karate, meaning I have never tried it before, but I would like to try it for the first time. I'd like to try my hand at karate. Okay. Uh, all right. Number five is to know something like the back of one's hand. Now, the back of your hand is something that you know very well. I know the back of my hand, right? So if you know something like the back of your hand, that means you know that really well. I have a friend who knows calculus you know, uh, mathematics, calculus. So I have a friend who knows calculus like the back of his hand. That means he's a master of calculus. He knows it really, really well. Okay. Number six is in one's hands. If something is in your hands, that means that it is your responsibility. Now, when I, when I was a kid, uh, my... Uh, grandfather once told me we had a family party and my grandfather said uh, I'm going to put the arrangements for the party uh, in your hands now I was uh, maybe uh, 10 or 11 years old I love to do this kind of thing to do uh, to make arrangements so when my grandfather said I'm going to put the arrangements of the party in your hands I was very happy because uh, my grandfather was giving me the responsibility. So then I said, hey, everybody, guess what? 
the arrangements for this party are in my hands, meaning I'm responsible. Okay. Number seven is free hand. And we commonly say that someone has a free hand or someone has been given a free hand. This means that someone has complete control over something. Now this is like uh, number six in one's hands, except this is used uh, negatively. Like for example, um, I gave my brother a free hand with redesigning our house. We wanted to remodel and redecorate our family home. And I gave my brother a free hand with that. Now when I say that, um, you probably guess that I'm not very happy. That's because he did a terrible job. The, the house now looks horrible. So I'm not happy that I gave complete control. I gave a free hand to my brother with the um, remodeling. Okay, Number eight is get out of hand. We commonly use this to talk about situations. If a situation gets out of hand, then it gets out of control. Okay. Um, this happens sometimes when people protest. That is when people um, uh, gather as a group and they have these signs and they shout slogans. Sometimes what will happen is violence will break out. People will start fighting and the police might have to get involved we can then say that the situation got out of hand, almost as if it slipped away from your hand and it got out of control, okay? Number nine is to sit on one's hands. Now, if I'm sitting on my hands, what can I do? Well, I can do nothing because my hands are uh, down there and I'm sitting on them, so I can't even move my hands. Right? So I can't do anything. So if someone is sitting on their hands, that means they're not doing anything, especially in response to a problem or uh, a situation. Uh, there was an earthquake you know, where I live a few years ago, and it took the government a long time to um, respond to the earthquake. So a lot of people said um, there was a natural disaster meaning the earthquake, and the government just sat on its hands, meaning the government didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, number 10, and our last idiom, is to change hands. If something changes hands, then it changes ownership. That is, first one owner has it, and they put the thing into someone else's hands. Uh, oftentimes, this is also used a little negatively. Like I might say, I don't want to buy that car because that car has changed hands three times in the last year, meaning so many different owners have had the car. I'm not sure I want that car. All right, so that's our 10 idioms with hand or with the word hand. Uh, now, we're going to do a test to see how many of these you can use correctly. All right, on the screen, I've got 10 sentences with blanks in them. Your job is to fill each blank with the correct idiom. Now pause the video and think about uh, your answers to all of these. When you're ready, play the video again and I will give you the answers. All right, let's look at the answers. Number one, we filed a complaint with the police about our house being robbed, but they just sat on their hands and did nothing. Number two, I'd like to try my hand at surfing when I visit Hawaii next week. Now that means I want to uh, try surfing for the first time. All right, number three, the whole project is in Charles's hands now. I know he will do a great job. That means Charles is now responsible for the project. Right, number four, 
the restaurant has changed hands three times in the past 10 years. Meaning that in the past 10 years, there have been uh, four owners. The original owners, and then it's changed three times. Number five. Sorry, I can't help you. I've got my hands full with my homework. You can also say, I have my hands full. I have and I've got are both okay. Number six. She's a geography teacher. She knows the world map like the back of her hand. That means she knows the world map really well. Number seven. I think it was a bad decision to give Kathy a free hand with the budget. That means Kathy now has complete control over the budget and I don't like it. Number eight. This crate is really heavy. Can you give me a hand? Meaning, can you help me with moving or lifting this crate? Number nine. I saw Fred and Mike arguing loudly and I interfered before things got out of hand. That means before the situation got out of control. Number 10. The company is losing a lot of money and many investors have washed their hands of it. That is many investors now think there's no way to get their money back and they've just left the company. They don't care about the company anymore. They have ended their involvement with the company. All right, did you get them all right? I hope you did. Uh, make sure to keep practicing these idioms in your own speech. Remember to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button below and I will see you in another lesson.